right, this will be the second load right here that we're bringing over to this pasture. We got a lot of grass over here. Opening up the gate down there. And we gotta go back and get one more, I don't know, a little small load. And we'll be heading to catch some steers for another guy. This is the crew today. Samuel. Samuel? Everybody? Jorge. George. George, I know that name. Marcelo. Marcelo. Francisco. Wilber. Gustavo. Okay. That's it. What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so these are the last ones going right here to the new pasture. Sometimes things get a little serious. I ain't got my horse today. I think they go get it. Things got a little bit western. We had one that had a really hurt foot and we had to rope her to see what was wrong with her foot. That was the only way we could check her. But we got her caught and checked out and hopefully she'll get better. Welcome back to Saturday, y'all. We are heading to town. We have to go run a few errands. I need to go buy the car wash. I kind of need to go buy tractor supply, but that can also kind of wait. So I need to stop by the grocery store and hopefully the grocery store has a magic eraser. I hope they have one because I don't really want to go into Walmart and Dollar General doesn't have Italian sausage and I need some of that. Uh, what else do we need to do? Ingles, car wash, tractor supply maybe. I think that's it. So yeah, I'm not sure what time everybody else is going to be getting home, but we're going to be having a fun movie night since we didn't have movie night last night. I already have two movies picked out and we're going to make peanut butter, Reese's Pieces brownies, a pizza casserole, and we'll have popcorn. Lots of pea things. Popcorn, peanut. Anyway, here we go. <laughs> I'm looking to see if they have tapioca flour for a little cheese bread recipe that I saw, but I don't see tapioca. Do you see it, Jonah? Tapioca flour. <laughs> White rice flour, brown rice flour. I don't see any tapioca. Coconut flour. Hmm. Hey, what about twinkles? Bread flour, bread flour, bread flour, bread flour. <laughs> Okay, so I was going to make these little cheesy bread things, but the recipe specifically says you have to use tapioca flour. I don't see tapioca flour anywhere. We'll just get some of this right here. Cheddar garlic biscuit mix to make with our pizza pasta. Dolly got some cornbread mix up there though. I almost forgot I needed brown sugar. too much further up through here. I don't know why. 
but my GoPro goes dead on me in just a few minutes. I mean, just a few minutes after I get started. So, but anyway, these old wild things go in unusual places. This is a wedding venue type situation here, and uh, we're going down here to get them. That was a really tough deal, I ain't gonna lie to you. These cattle, when they get out, they do unusual stuff. Me and David got all the way back up there to the, where he is, probably two miles up there, back up to his farm, and Tyler has the key to my truck. So David's running down there now to get the key from Tyler, and then we're gonna run back up there, get the trailer, and come back and load these things. Okay. <laughs> David, that's a stout horse you got. How many horsepower you got? And look, y'all, he's dallied off on his mirror. <laughs> so just go across, hop across the creek over there, just like David said, and, and go right up that holler, and that's where that other one is. Cow catching. You never know what you're gonna get into. These wild cattle are totally different. It's a uh, cattle like that don't need to be on the street. Okay, y'all. We are back home. We're gonna go ahead and make the peanut butter Reese's Pieces brownies first. Got this little box of Reese's Pieces. I'm softening up my butter in the microwave on defrost. I am sleepy. You're pretty sleepy. He asked me to tell him which button on the remote control was the Andy Griffith Show. That should be a thing. That should really like, every remote control should come with an Andy Griffith Show button that just when you press it, boom. Andy Griffith Show 24-7. Okay, so in here, we're gonna put this one stick of softened butter, which I got a little too soft, but it'll be fine. We'll go ahead and put the sugar in here. We need two cups of brown sugar since we're doubling it. I'll have the original down below for y'all, but just, yeah, I'm doubling everything. Double your pleasure, double your fun. That's the statement of the great men. Double men gone. Y'all remember that? Y'all know I like old commercials. <laughs> Do not put on. 80s or 90s commercials at night because you will be wanting to send your teenage children up to McDonald's real quick to buy you a Big Mac or even a cheeseburger and a small fry. They have <laughs> I'm telling y'all, those old McDonald's commercials knew how to make you go get some McDonald's. All right, we're gonna go ahead and cream the butter and the brown sugar. All right, now we're gonna add the peanut butter. Okay. Now we need two eggs. All right, we're putting in two teaspoons of vanilla and two teaspoons of baking powder. Okay, the last thing we put in is all-purpose flour. I'm putting in, since I'm doubling it, one and one-third of a cup. Okay, y'all, I said the flour was the last thing, but I almost forgot about the Reese's Pieces. We gotta put those in. But if you just want peanut butter brownies, this is it right here. You could add peanuts if you wanted to. The kids didn't wanna do that, so we're leaving those out. Okay, I'm gonna put about half of this box in the brownie batter, and we'll save the rest to put on top. We'll just fold these in. This smells so good, y'all. Then we just spread it out into the pan and we'll put a few of the other Reese's pieces on the top. And that's it, they're gonna go in the oven at 350 for 25 to 30 minutes. Okay, I will help you. All right, I'll hop up here, here. We'll dump them into a little bowl. That'll be a little easier for you to get them out. Good. Do they? Uh-huh. Reese's Pieces used to be my absolute favorite candy. Second place was Butterfinger BBs. BBs? Mm-hmm. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, y'all, while the brownies are cooking, we're gonna tackle what we needed these magic erasers for. Where? <gasps> oh, he acts surprised. <laughs> Who did that? It was me. It was you. Yeah, it's not coming off. Let me show you what you have to do. It's coming off, see? Look. You gotta do it in a circle. 
<laughs> but it will bring it off, especially if you use a little Windex with it. It'll bring that Sharpie marker off. It's amazing. I've tried many other things because I didn't have a magic eraser here. He did this the day before yesterday. Huh? Did that come off? Was it circle? Yeah, it'll come off. And I tried lots of home remedy things for removing Sharpie marker, but none of them worked. This little magic eraser though, it'll work. I've had to do it before, so that's how I know that it does work. Take a little Windex spray on there, and then you just scrub. Really work those arm muscles. Just mash that Andy Griffith Show button and go. <laughs> Okay, we got that done. The brownies are almost done. We're gonna go ahead and start this pizza pasta casserole. It should be ready to go in the oven by the time the brownies come out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cook this Italian sausage. Now, when I used to make this, I used ground beef because back then the kids didn't like Italian sausage, but now everybody likes Italian sausage. So, looking for my towel, I'll just grab another one. <laughs> They always disappear. So we're gonna use Italian sausage, but you can do ground beef instead if you don't want, or you can just leave that out all together and just do the pepperoni. So we're gonna be using rotini for the pasta. Yeah, you can get, um, what is that timer for? Oh yeah, the brownies. Woo, I think we're done. Yeah, the directions are right there on the back. Preheat oven to 400 degrees. Oh yeah, but that's okay. Well, our oven is hot, so we'll just leave it 350. <laughs> Well, we'll go up to 375. Just in case. Yeah. All right, Italian sausage is done. I drained it a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and put in the pasta sauce. And you can use, you know, marinara sauce here instead. We just like the pasta sauce better. Now we're gonna put in a whole pack of pepperoni. Now we're putting in the pasta. That's the whole daddy's uh, cheese singles. Oh, can I stick some cheese down there? Yeah. See, it goes like that. Now you shut it in. See? Is it cut? No, it don't cut it. It just it just holds it. Oh, yeah. it's turned around. Are you ready for movie night? Yeah. We got our bedroom slippers on. Look. Yeah, I got oh, mine. Oh, Sissy's got hers. Yeah, I got mine. We need to get you some little ones. But I can wear these ones. Yeah, you can wear those tonight. 